it's just sprinkling a little bit. Guys, welcome back to another episode of Wisconsin Fisherman. My name's Kyle, out here with the wife Sydney. We got a storm passing in the background. Hopefully it's far enough away because I'm about to jump into the water and hopefully we can spear some dinner. Um, in Wisconsin, there is some you know rules and regulations about spearing panfish. And the county that I am in, you can spear panfish, which is bluegill, perch, rock bass, crappie. Um, you know, instead of just fishing with a bobber for them and eating them, we're gonna go under and you know selectively harvest the ones that we want. And we're using just a spear like this. It's got a rubber band on the end of it, and three pokies on the front of it. And we're basically gonna slingshot it into the fish. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be keeping some fish for dinner tonight. Um, you know, a lot of people are like, ooh, spearing. But if you think about it, when you're fishing for bluegills or crappies or whatnot, I mean, how many fish swallow that hook and five minutes later, you got a couple fish flopping behind the boat. Um, with spearing, it's, it's instant. You get the fish you want, there's no picking through them. But uh, with that being said, let's get in the water. Uh, let's catch some fish or let's spear some fish and try not to get struck by the old lightning storm that's behind us. Hopefully it's far enough away. So basically you can see the shore right behind me. Comes out to you know about four feet deep and then it drops off to about nine. And then fish are sitting right on that drop off because there's a bunch of weeds and stuff right before it. Um, I'm gonna swim down there with the GoPro, show you those weeds. Hopefully we can just snatch some bluegill up right away. Let's go. So basically, you uh, pull the spear backwards, which engages the sling. The fish is here and you let go and kind of jams it forward. So I'm gonna try to hold the camera, spear back like this, spear some bluegills. Maybe some crappie too, or perch. So let's see what we can do. Pretty uh, pretty murky down here. <laughs> Got a nice eater. <clears throat> Thank you, honey. Let's have this cooler here. smaller but he looked big yeah it's funny you have a bunch of little ones following behind you yeah it's cooler nice perch got a perch nice perch uh, swam right underneath of me on my last video, somebody's like, you speared a walleye, but it was a perch. Just head grab. Nice perch. Mm -hmm. Perch goes in. Again, mm -hmm. good eater. The sun's finally coming out. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
that was a really big school, big bluegills, some decent crappies way up in the weeds. All of a sudden they were just surrounding me. I was like, I want to wait for a crappie. I picked off a decent one. No jigging a minnow on this one, just spear. <laughs> Little guy, a good eater. I'm gonna go back up there again. Seven. Seven? Seven. Okay. I'll go get a couple more. There, there's some nice schools up, up closer to those weeds. It's like the really thick weeds stop, and then it's like sandy weeds before that, and they're just schooling all around me. That's why I shot three and didn't come back right away. Mm-hmm. So, all right. Fun, fun. So one's a little small, but that's okay. Doubled up. Literally doubled up. I'd... The one closest to you is a little small because he is. He must have been in the background. Must have like freaked out as soon as I hit the first one, and then it <laughs> through the second one. He's a. No, he'll clean. He'll eat. So this guy. Hey, 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 hey! Calm down now. Little potato chips. Sweet. I think we're gonna call her a day at that. I'm excited about that. We'll get home, fillet them up. Deep brown. Oh. Do you even see them like right here? Oh yeah, you can see them. There's there's a whole Could bunch you see of any of me like spearing at them? Um a little bit. I like fishing and I like swimming, so why not put it together and spare? Well, uh, we got some really nice bluegills. We've touched around the lake, just kind of drove around looking for more fish. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna go back to the house, get these things cleaned up, uh, fry them up, and do a little spear and cook. Cause why not? Let's just fillet them up, have some snacky snacks, dinner. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Sounds good. Did you have fun swimming? Yeah, yeah. always love swimming. It was fun, it was fun swimming. Swimming, spearing. All right, let's go home. Start off with a nice little crappie. Get these guys filleted up here. Nice little fillet on that guy. Cap them on ice because in the summertime they uh, they seem to get a little mushy and they get mushy really, really quick. So um, 
it's always nice to bring a little ice with you. It keeps that meat nice and firm and nice little fillet. We'll take out the little pin bones that are right in the center there. Just pop those out. Now we got belly meat, tenderloin on the ice. Boom. Let's go. We'll finish all the rest of these up and we'll be frying them. All right, just finished up. We got a pile of fish and nice fillets. We're gonna wash these off and then get them cooking. So, we'll be right back. Hey guys, well here is our speared fish and you know, spearing really doesn't do much to them. You got a tiny little hole in it right there. So, I mean, they've been spearing for thousands and thousands of years. So, why not keep the tradition alive, right? So we have shore lunch, this is beer batter. Um, just kind of mix it with some water is all I do. Put a few fillets in there and mix them up, drop them in the oil. We're having lunch or dinner. This will be messy. All right, so we're back inside. Had to have the Chick-fil-A sauce because we're out of tartar, but does the fish really even need it? You be the judge. So, got our nice freshly speared fish, and simple as that. I mean, it was fun just like going out and fishing, but we got to swim and we got to spear and we got to harvest the fish that we wanted to harvest. So, pretty cool, pretty fun. Mmm. Hot, <laughs> but good. Your turn. Mm. So how is it? it sounds crunchy. It is crunchy. Mm -hmm. I love the beer batter. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Well, on that note, we're going to wrap it up. We're going to finish eating a little snack here. Maybe dinner, maybe not. Really don't got anything to go with fish, but uh, we're eating fish. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you uh, want to see some more spearing videos, make sure to check out the other ones. Or if you guys want to, you know, learn how to clean fish, I do have a couple fish cleaning videos. So, like always, really appreciate you guys watching. If you're not subscribed to the Wisconsin Fisherman channel, I'd really appreciate a subscription. Uh, just click that button. And like always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.